Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. So we're going to take a look at the next 48 to 72 hours. The messages that I put forth, they are timeless. So whenever you click on this video, that's when the messages could apply to your life the most. Also, it's general, so not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for someone rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure you check your other placements as the videos continue to roll out. So give me some energy for Taurus. What would you like for Taurus to know for the next 48 to 72? Messages for Taurus. Next 48 to 72 hours. What's the energy spirit? Okay, Ooh, woman holding a coin. So the number 5, 42, 24, 204 could be relevant. Bottom of the deck, anxiety. The number 9, 18, 81, 1 or 8 could also be significant. Somebody could be stressing about money, finances. I'm hearing career. Let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, tell me why is woman holding a coin here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is woman holding a coin here? For Taurus. Okay, so I have strength, Leo energy. Um, it's like somebody's determined to get to the pentacle. Somebody's determined to get to the top. Give me another message. Somebody could be feeling overwhelmed, so about achieving a certain level of success or just, I'm hearing tax bracket income, having a certain status, Knight of Cups. Tell me more about strength. Why is strength here for Taurus? What is the message? Next 48 to 72. King of Swords. Somebody's making a decision here. I'm also I'm getting grudge energy though. I feel like somebody's making a decision um, from a very dark place. Their shadow. Um, this could be somebody that has a grudge towards you, Taurus. Or this could be your energy, but it's like somebody could be very forceful, like just stern. It's giving me a mean energy. Tell me more about strength. Why is strength here for Taurus? What is the message? Next 48 to 72. Why is strength here for Taurus? The star, Aquarius energy. Something has to do with like your purpose, your destiny. Um, for some of you, somebody could be trying to force you to do something that's really not in alignment with you, that's not in alignment with your calling. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for Taurus? What is the message? I feel like, too, the way this Knight of Cups is positioned towards anxiety, um, I'm getting like the gospel song, Come to My Rescue. If you call on the Lord, He will come. Come to my rescue. So I feel like um, Spirit is going to rescue you out of this anxiety energy. I feel like something's coming towards you. Um, that's going to be very, I'm hearing like generous, sweet, like a sweet offer. Um, this is definitely going to be something that is going to shift your energy level. Where you could be feeling low is going to help raise your vibration. Give me an energy for the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The Seven of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more. I'm getting like fulfillment of wishes. Somebody don't want your wishes to be fulfilled. The hangman to the nine of swords, Pisces energy. For some of you, this is somebody who like made a judgment call pertaining to your career. You could do something online. There could have also been gossip. I'm hearing that as well. But somebody made a judgment call in the past. And I feel like this person was in an illusion thinking that this was going to work. Nothing was going to happen, but now somebody's stressed out. They're having anxiety and like they're stuck there. Somebody just can't get over what they've done. I'm hearing the song Can't Get Over You. That's an oldie. So for some of you, this is somebody that I'm hearing pictures. So this is somebody that could be reminiscing a lot. Um, for some, having visions, dreams about you. But whatever this person is going through is warranted. Because of what they've done, I feel like something has been exposed here. Something has been illuminated. Thank you, Spirit, with this star energy when it comes to you. And now somebody feels foolish, like they're in regret. They cannot get over what happened in the past. Why is the star here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the star here for Taurus? What is the message, Spirit? 
the world, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Something you're meant to do for some of you online, like you could have an online business, you could sell products, be a public speaker, whatever it is you're meant to do, it's it's your gift, it's part of your talent, it's your natural skills and abilities, and somebody trying to interfere with that. Somebody trying to be very forceful, like force their own will upon your life. And that's why this person is stressing out. I feel like this nine of swords energy is part of somebody's karma. Somebody's meant to be worried because they know they messed up. Give me an energy for the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Somebody wanted you within this anxiety energy. Thank you, spirit. And now they're in that energy. So whatever... This person wanted for you. I'm also hearing people. For some of you, it could be multiple people. But it's like whatever they wanted for you, that's the energy that they now carry. I have the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Taurus? What's the message? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, like betrayal. Somebody tried to betray you. For some of you, a group of people tried to betray you. And they were very satisfied with the Nine of Cups at the bottom. Like, they were very happy with what they've done. They didn't have any remorse until now. And I feel like the only reason they have remorse is because the tables are finally turning. Things are starting to shift. And people have to pay what they owe. Karmic debt. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody tried to like withhold money from you. Your stability. Somebody wanted to affect your independence. I'm also hearing something about a title. So for some of you, this could definitely have to do with a job, a job title, a position. This definitely centers around your career, this reading. Whether you work a traditional job, you have your own business, brick and mortar, you do online. It's like somebody did not want to see you be successful. Give me an energy for the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be your own mother. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message? But you're meant to be this Queen of Pentacles energy. Give me an energy for the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Emperor, Aries energy. For some of you, this could be a boss figure. You're very wise. For some of you, you could definitely um, do something in the public eye pertaining to speaking i'm hearing engagement so public engagement you could be a mentor but you're very wise so somebody's now starting to see you as this nine of pentacles energy for some of you this emperor is somebody that held back from you and now they're seeing the light about who you actually are divine you're chosen anointed you're very stable you have a lot to offer. Extremely gifted. And this person is in regret. For some of you, you definitely do something in the spiritual community. Something could have to do with your beliefs, your spirituality. But somebody regrets holding back from you. They regret how they treated you. Yeah, earth angel energy. For some of you, this person could have put you in competition. Just created a lot of drama and conflict for no reason. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus? What is the message? Whether this is somebody that's romantically interested in you or this is a boss figure. Like somebody did the most. And this person had people backing them as well. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus? What is the message spirit? Death, scorpionic energy. Tell me more 
Yeah, this is going to be a changing of the guard. There's a shift happening here. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, because somebody is upset. Somebody's angry. There's a change that somebody is not satisfied with. Why is death here? Somebody wants to lash out. There could be a lot of upheaval, confusion, drama. But I feel like this is going be I'm hearing beneath you. So this is going on beneath you. I feel like you've already sailed away from the situation. You're sitting high. You're standing tall. Like this does not affect you. I feel like this is just going on with a group of people that came for you that wanted you in the ten of swords they have their own business and for some of you with each other you know what taurus for some of you they're turning on each other why is death here for taurus what is the energy the seven of pentacles and the ace of cups yeah so this is somebody who you were meant to have a spiritual partnership with and now this person is reflecting on that I also feel like this person wasted a lot of time looking at other options, focused on other things. And God was handing this masculine energy a blessing. And they chose not to take it. I mean, I feel like you're this pentacle under this man's feet. But they were too focused on the other six pentacles. Somebody could have also rushed to judgment when it came to you. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus? Next 48 to 72 hours. What's the message? The Sun, Leo energy. So listen, for some of you, um, this person fathered a child. Whoever they father the child with likes to lash out. Somebody could be very angry and mean, vindictive. Somebody feels stuck due to a kid now. Somebody could have rushed into another situation. So it kind of like they rushed away from you, got away from you as quickly as possible, and ended up going into something else too fast. And missed out on a blessing, missed out on what was actually meant for them. And now they're stuck with this enraged person, whether or not they're together. Give me a message for a woman holding a coin. Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. I'm hearing satisfied with your work. I feel like there's somebody watching you that's very satisfied with the work that you do. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody that's going to come in and bless you. Whatever you're doing, it makes you happy. You like what you do, Taurus. And because you like what you do, you do it with um, genuine intentions, a pure heart. It's something that really makes you extremely happy. And for some of you, you really get to pour into other people. That's how you're going to get into this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's going to level you up. Whatever it is that you're doing for work, creative, creatively. Give me a message for anxiety. It's like boss level energy. Why is anxiety here for Taurus? What is the message? The lovers and the six of cups. With the will of fortune. Something was fated to happen in the past. Somebody had a choice. It was a spiritual connection. And this person is stressing out. So it's like as you level up. As you rise to this queen of pentacles energy. Whoever did not step forward. And choose you, they're not investing you, they're stressed out, they're worried. For some of you, this person feels like they run out of time. For some of you, there's a child in the picture now and they're dealing with somebody who could be a parent lunatic, who could be a little bit unhinged. But somebody's being made to reflect on what transpired and the role they played. And they're worried. Somebody's worried about their decision. Either way, this person was going to receive karma. But somebody chose the blessing. Somebody chose the lesson over the blessing.
if they chose you, they would have been, you know, walking in their destiny, receiving good karma, having a lot of positive things transpire. But unfortunately, they are receiving bad karma. They're, they're learning some life lessons at this time. Or you are. Give me a final message for the reading. What's the energy? Gemini on the lovers. Why? Give me a final message for the reading. What is the energy spirit? Give me a final message for this reading. What is the energy? Five of Wands, conflict, drama. Somebody's life is not filled with a whole bunch of conflict and drama. Whoever brought the Five of Wands to you, that is their energy currently. Whoever this person is or these people are, they're dealing with a lot of Five of Wands situations. Everything is a battle. It's a struggle. It's hardship. It's like, you know, one thing after the next. It may feel like, okay, they've gotten over one situation, then here comes another. It's just like constant five of wands, energy, constant battling, like just having to battle in life in general. It's a struggle. It's challenges. But that's the wheel. It's karma. It's fair. Whatever you put out is the energy you get back. Whatever you want for somebody else, that's what, you know, you get for yourself. So you just have to be mindful of the things that you wish upon people, um, as well as how you treat people. And that's the lesson that's being learned. So Taurus, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself. And real with thyself, grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.